The question is first part. What are the different causes that makes a trial balance incorrect? This is a theory question. You have to read the chapter very nicely to get the theory answer. Second part. Pass the rectifying journal entries. A part. A credit sale of a goods for 2500 to Krishna has wrongly passed through the purchases book. Here the correct entry is Krishna debited to sales account A part. Krishna debited to sales account 2500, 2500. By mistake it was passed through purchases book. Purchases account debited to Krishna 2500, 2500. Hence, we have to write down correct entry first to rectify. Correct entry means Krishna to sales will be there in the debit and credit. Hence, write down Krishna debited to sales 2500, 2500. Purchase is to be credited to nullify the effect. Purchase was by mistake debited. Hence, two purchases 2500. Debit credit cancelled. And this credit Krishna in the red ink in the wrong entry is to be debited to cancel it. Hence, we cannot write down Krishna David 2500, Krishna David 2500. We can do like this, Krishna debited 5000. Hence, goods sold to Krishna by mistake passed through purchases book has been rectified. The next one is B part. B part is your 5000 paid for a freight and machinery purchase was debited to freight account as 500. Freight and machinery purchase on the new machinery, whatever you are paying, it is to be debited to machinery account. Hence, machinery account debited 5000 to cash. We are paying cash, machinery to cash. Installation, freight, cartage, octroi, whatever you are paying on an asset, that is to be debited to that respective asset account. Hence, machinery account debited to cash. It was by mistake debited to freight account that too with the wrong amount. It became freight account debit 500 but cash account was credited correctly. Freight account debited 500 to cash account 5000. Hence two cash in the credit both in the correct entry and wrong entry is correct. But machinery will come 5000 debit machinery account 5000. To nullify the freight account debit 500 credit it to freight account 500. Hence Machinery account debited 5000 to freight account 500. The debit is to be credited to freight account 500. It is credited to nullify the effect and the difference will go to suspense account as 4500 because all other, all other accounts excluding these two are correct including the amounts. Hence, freight paid on account of purchase of machinery rupees 5000 debited to freight account as 500 is rectified is the narration c part c part is your the returns in mod book has been wrongly overcast by wrongly overcast by 100 return inward sales return correct entry is sales returns account debited to debtors account any amount above 100 returns inward account debited to debtors account any amount above 100 say 200 200 this return inward book was overcast. Overcast over total returns inward account debited 300. It was overcast by 100. Returns inward account debited 300 to debtors account 200. Hence, the return inward account debit is to be credited by 100 to nullify the extra 100 effect, overcasting of 100. Hence, if we will debit the overcast amount 100. If we will credit the overcasting by 100, it will be rectified. Hence, there is there is no other mistake in any item or amount. Hence, suspense account debited to returns inward account 100, 100. Being overcasting of return inward book rectified. Then D part. D part is your uh, an amount of 500 due from Ramesh whose had been written up as bad debt in previous year was recovered and had been posted to the personal account of Ramesh. The correct entry is cash account debited to bad debt recovered account. This correct entry is cash account debited to bad debt recovered account. In place of bad debt recovered, we wrote Ramesh in the credit. There is a mistake in the credit. See the wrong entry. 
कैश अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू रामेश फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड दिस क्रेडिट रामेश इज टू बी कैंसल्ड बाय डेबिटिंग हिम इन द रेक्टिफिकेशन एंट्री रामेश डेबिटेड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वी हैव टू ब्रिंग द करेक्ट अकाउंट टू बैड डेट रिकवर्ड अकाउंट फाइव हंड्रेड इन द क्रेडिट नाउ वी हैव गॉट द रेक्टिफाइंग एंट्री बैड डेट रिकवर्ड रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड बाय मिस्टेक क्रेडिटेड टू द पर्सनल अकाउंट ऑफ रामेश इज रेक्टिफाइड दिस इज द रेक्टिफिकेशन नरेशन देन कम्स द ई पार्ट ए सम ऑफ रुपीज फोर सिक्सटी ओड बाय हरी हैज नॉट बीन इंक्लूडेड इन लिस्ट ऑफ डेटर्स टू इंक्लूड सम डेटर इन द टू इंक्लूड सम कस्टमर इन द लिस्ट ऑफ डेटर्स वी हैव टू एनालाइज द एंट्री द ई पार्ट व्हेन वी सोल्ड टू हरी वी मस्ट हैव रिटन हरी डेबिटेड टू सेल्स फोर सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी टू इंक्लूड हरी इन द लिस्ट ऑफ डेटर्स हरी डेबिट इज टू बी कैंसल्ड it is to be credited like the correct entry will be debtors to hari debtors to hari debtors account debited to hari on 460 460 when we sold we wrote hari debited to sales account 460 460 if you want to wipe out the name of hari and put it in the list of debtors and make on single account of all the persons buying goods from us and credit who could have written We should have to write down debtors account debited to Hari. That means we include Hari's name in the list of debtors. But the question is telling us it has not been included in the debtors account. Hence dash to Hari. Please write down dash to Hari. Debtors account debit was not there. Only two Haris four sixty. Hence we have to write down Hari a uh, debtors debit four sixty to rectify this. If it has not been included, we have to write down debtors account debited to Hari four hundred sixty to servants account. 460 because all other account are correct now the rectification entry will be debit of harish account rupees 460 not included in debtors now included in debtors and rectification journal entry is always to be total by 460 and this is totally is sorry is to be total the total is 11060 rupees only debit and credit side which is correct and this is all about your answer